Good morning, my name is Dr. George Sparks and this is Biblical Archaeology from the Ground Down, sponsored by Bible Interact. Today I got an interesting question for you, but it doesn't have anything to do with archaeology and not even the Bible, but this should be fun. The question is, who was Tobias Lear? Once again, who was Tobias Lear? And I'm going to give you some hints. A, was he a colonel in World War II, the secretary to Dwight David Eisenhower? B, was he a colonel in World War I, secretary to General Sherman? C, was he a captain in the Civil War, secretary to Abraham Lincoln? Or D, was he a colonel in the Revolutionary War, secretary to George Washington? I'll give you a few seconds. A, B, C, or D? Now, if you chose C, you would be wrong. What about A, Secretary to Dwight Eisenhower? You would be wrong. Is D, he was a colonel in the Revolutionary War, Secretary to George Washington. Tobias Lear was born in September 19, 1762, and he passed away in October 11, 1816. He was the personal secretary to President George Washington. Lear served Washington from 1784 until the former president's death in 1799. There's journals detail Washington's final moments and his last words. Lear began his career by being an apprentice until a family friend, Benjamin Lincoln, recommended him for a job as a tutor for Martha Washington's grandchildren and also the post of George Washington's personal secretary, both to which he was hired in 1786. He was integrated into the Washington household, and his post quickly evolved beyond just being a clerk to Washington, but being his right-hand man and doing whatever Washington needed, such as, of course, tutoring his grandchildren, filling out expense reports, and writing letters. And he performed all his duties very effectively. In 1799, Washington unexpectedly died while Lear was visiting Washington at his home at Mount Vernon, leading to Lear's famous diary entry. And this is from this entry. About 10 o'clock Saturday, December 14, 1799, Washington made several attempts to speak to me before he could effectively do so. At length, he said, I am just going. Let me decently buried and do not let my body be entered into the vault unless two days have passed after I have died. I bowed assent, meaning he agreed. He then looked at me once again and said, do you understand me? And I replied, yes. Washington's last words were, tis well. And then he took his last breath and passed away. Folks, I wanna share with you two items. One is a newspaper that was printed one of the first printings about George Washington's passing away, his death. And also an article on the front page that was published and printed, signed by Tobias Lear. Now that's a type sign, it's a newspaper, but I got something else. It's actually a receipt because of course, Lear who was now Colonel uh, Tobias Lear was a secretary and he handled a lot of the financing in the military at that time. And he signed a, a pay voucher. And at the middle center right, you can see the signature, not Colonel Tobias Lear, but here it says Tobias Lear. His actual signature, the secretary to George Washington that was there at his bedside and was so close, he was probably about the same distance as me to this camera. Something to think about, really cool. Let me share these items with you. And people. Hello, everybody. I wanted to share two items with you. This is one of the first newspaper printings dated. It's on December. It's on a Monday, 1799. You can see the black border, which represents a national state of mourning. And in the upper right corner, I'm going to zoom this in here. You can see the statements of John Adams, as well as 
Tobias Lear, who was Washington's secretary. Now I got another item I want to share with you. This is a pay voucher. And of course, the signature midway center to the right is Colonel Tobias Lear, but it just says here, Tobias Lear. That's the actual signature of George Washington's secretary, who was by his bedside when he passed away, and where he chronicled and recorded Washington's last words, "'Tis well," meaning he goes in peace. With you. And people have a great day. Thank you.